Hey guys, I'm Gwendolyn Gay, and this is the iFixit Rundown, where I give you all the news that happened this month at iFixit. After last month's flurry of teardowns, things slowed down a bit in May, but we did take apart a couple of really interesting devices. We tore down the Huawei P9 and were pleasantly surprised by a lot on the inside, but were confused by our entry screws. Pentalobes? Say it isn't so. On a happy note, the P9 is modular and has limited adhesive. The fancy dual rear-facing camera is on a single ribbon cable, but is made of two two image sensors, an ordinary 12 megapixel RGB sensor, and a 12 megapixel monochrome sensor for depth and contrast as well as black and white photos. The dual camera assembly is noticeably shorter than the bump-inducing iPhone 6S camera, but not by much. If you're wondering, the Huawei P9 scored a pretty decent 7 out of 10 on our repairability scale. Then we cracked open the Pixel C made by Google. The hardware is nicely streamlined, but stray cable booby traps baffle. The components are wonderfully modular, but embedded in glue. Maybe the C in Pixel C stands for confusion. The heavily adhered battery of the Pixel C comes in at 34.2 watt hours, which beats the 27.9 watt hours in the 9.7 inch iPad Pro, but lags behind the Surface Pro 4's 38.2 watt hour powerhouse. Check out both these teardowns and see what score we gave the Pixel C on iFixit.com. Head over to our blog to see a story on circuit classics, which are beautiful circuit boards that will hopefully help teach a whole new generation of tinkerers how to understand, build, and fix electronics. Delightfully old school by design, circuit classics were engineered by Star Simpson and inspired by the work of tinkering legend Forrest M. Mims III. Circuit classics bring Mims's beginning projects off the page and into a real life electronics kit. We also have a story about our new pentalobe screw sightings. They're not just in iPhones anymore. As we mentioned before, the Huawei P9 is now using pentalobes in their phones, but we also found some in the new Meizu Pro 6. While the pentalobe is becoming more common, it's a screw that is only meant to be used once or twice. The pentalobe has a shallow draft and rounded lobes, so it's easy to strip. It may look nice, but let's not forget it's widely used to keep owners out of their devices. Check out the full story and our take on this disappointing trend over at our blog at ifixit.org. If you're anything like me, your Game Boy never left your hands, and while this nearly indestructible box fared well over the years, my speaker had a little Capri Sun damage. So I made a quick repair video for you. Even if your Game Boy is chugging along just fine, you're gonna want to watch this nostalgic retro repair. Batteries are not built to last forever. If you think the battery in your iPhone 6S Plus is getting a little sluggish, it might be time to replace it. Lucky for you, we have a repair video on our channel where I show you how to do just that. Want some free iFixit swag? Of course you do. Well, we have what you want, and all you have to do is tweet me a picture using our tools and we'll send one lucky winner a couple of our favorite teas. It's just that simple. And that's your May iFixit Rundown. Make sure you keep up to date on all of our projects by following us on Twitter at iFixit and checking out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iFixit. Hopefully you're already subscribed to our YouTube channel, but if you're not, go ahead and click that subscribe button now. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.